Okay, this is a fun one. Uh, I'm in a utility room and I'm checking out this water heater. And uh, I notice that the valve is set to very hot. And I'm like, okay, maybe they need a lot of hot water. But then I start looking around and it's like, uh, I check the pipes and this is the hot water outlet side and it's cold when water's running. And I check the cold water inlet side and this pipe is hot. And so they've got the water heater plumbed backwards. They've got cold water coming in where the hot water should be coming out and hot water coming out where the cold water should be going in. Now, why this is a problem, I'll show you in a diagram. All right, here's my diagram of a water heater when it's plumbed correctly. Note that one thing that is missing in this diagram is a flue for exhaust from the flames to leave the home. Having it in the image won't help you understand this better, so I left it out. Before I go further though, please pause this video and scroll down and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you like. Also, please give the video a thumbs up if you find it valuable. Thanks. This is a standard water heater full of hot water and the flame is off. When we open a hot water valve, in the home, hot water comes out of the hot water outlet pipe. The cold water makes up the water that's leaving by coming in the cold water inlet pipe. Inside the water heater, there's a dip tube, this thing, for the cold water that directs it to the bottom of the tank. This prevents the cold water coming in from mixing much with the hot water that's already in the tank. The cold water will stay on the bottom of the tank because hot water rises and cold water falls. This is because hot water is less dense than cold water. Once enough cold water enters the water heater, the thermostat will kick on the flame to heat the cold water that's coming in. As hot water continues to run out of the water heater, cold water runs into the tank. Eventually, all the hot water is gone and the tank is filled with cold water. Note that the burner is not able to heat the cold water fast enough to keep the hot water coming out continuously, but this design allows most of the hot water in the tank to be used where it is needed. Now, let's look at what happens when the water heater is plumbed backwards. Cold water will come in a pipe that ends at the top of the tank allowing it to, to mix with some of the hot water that's in the tank. But since it's colder than the hot water, it also drops to the bottom of the tank. The hot water leaving the water heater is coming from a pipe that extends to near the bottom of the tank. As cold water runs into the water heater and drops to the bottom, the level of the cold water rises. Eventually, the level of cold water rises to the pipe from which water is leaving the water heater. Once that happens, cold water comes out of the tank, leaving hot water in the top part of the tank. So the amount of hot water you get out of a water heater that is plumbed backwards is significantly lower than when the water heater is plumbed correctly. This likely explains why this water heater's thermostat was set to such a high temperature. Finding a water heater that is plumbed backwards is rare, but learning why it's a problem also helps us understand how a water heater works. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, set the level of no notifications the way you want, and give this video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I'm Martin Newmark for HouseKnowHow.com. Thanks for watching.